camp is awesome. And the upcoming summer is shaping up to be our best ever. But proper preparation with a solid understanding of camp policy is crucial for a successful season. Here are some details on four of the most often asked policy areas. Electronics and cell phones. This is camp, and a primary goal of camp is to make new friends and participate in camp activities. Therefore, no electronic entertainment devices are permitted in camp. This includes iPads, tablets, iPod touches, DVD players, and gaming devices of any kind. Simple MP3 music players without apps will be permitted. Any cell phones brought to camp are collected on opening day and only given back on certain trip days to our older campers. Packages and snack boxes. Packages of any kind may be sent prior to the start of camp. Once camp begins, all packages must be limited to a relatively flat 11 inch by 17 inch or smaller envelope and cannot contain food. Necessities that may need to be sent in larger packages must be pre-approved through submitting this online form. www.campmarasha.com package. Snacks may only be sent to camp on opening day and visiting day. Snacks brought to camp must fit within the pre-approved covered bin to safely store snacks underneath a bed. A link to this bin has been emailed home. Any snack that does not fit in this bin won't be permitted in the bunk. We strongly recommend sending snacks that come in small pouches and not like this. Additionally, bunk fridges will only be used for water bottles and other beverages. Finally, please make sure that all snacks adheres to the camp's nut-sensitive policy. Snacks containing or may contain peanuts, tree nuts, or sesame, or labeled made in a facility that cannot be sent to camp. And of course, all snack must be certified kosher. Visits to camp. We love visitors at Camp Marasha. Please note that visitors are limited to one visit per visitor. Therefore, if a family member comes on visiting day, a second visit to camp is not permitted. Additionally, campers must arrive to camp on opening day on one of our camp buses. Drop-offs are not permitted unless a camper resides outside the tri-state area. Dress Code We believe that we have a healthy dress code that will enable campers to dress comfortably for all activities. Please do not pack articles of clothing inconsistent with these guidelines. The details of the dress code can be found in your pre-summer guide. Conclusion We thank you in advance for partnering with us this summer. As you begin preparing for camp, please know we are here to help in any way we can.